Hi team, thanks for coming back on the second episode of my journey through Alien Isolation, the Nostromo edition. Um, as you remember in the last episode, nothing happened, but we were all collectively scared shitless because it was a nightmare. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, uh, and we're, we're back, we're on the Sevastopol, which is in ruins. Uh, it seems like the robots on the thing have gone mad. I can't tell for certain. And as we know, there's bound to be an alien here somewhere. Um, so, on we go. I just... And I'm so quiet in this game as well, because it's so scary. What does that say? Waits lied to us. I, I bet you Waits is still alive. Hang on, there's got to be something in here. Nothing. This game is just. Oh, those doors are gonna haunt me later on. I'm, I'm just, I just know it. I need that maintenance jack. Hang on, what's on this table? Nothing. Ooh, corpse man. I don't want to go over there. I find the alien, um, I guess, uh, mating process or, or procreating process quite strange in that... So, a queen lays eggs, the face hugger then puts that egg into a human or animal, and then an alien is born from that, adopting the DNA in a way of that individual that it was in. Oh, fuck. You've already seen a corpse, Ripley. Come on. So he's got some cool weapons that I think I'm going to need. He's wearing some cons. And he's dead. Uh, so anyway, then the alien bursts out of that and an alien is born. I think that that might be the most difficult... Is it gestating process? Gestation process for an animal in the history of animals. If there's anyone out there that can argue that there's something on earth that's harder than that let me know but to a queen needs to lay an egg the egg ha hatches a th face hugger the face hugger then lays an egg inside the human has to go to a human and then it has to burst out of the human forming an alien then it's a baby for a little while and has to grow like that's insane that must take like the chances of it surviving all of that and now i know face huggers are quite scary but the, the the egg has to hatch first they can be destroyed as we've seen in many alien shows how do i get in there um so surely you could you could quite easily eradicate the process of an alien coming to life just by oh, you can move those things a little bit um just from human life you know like global warming and all of our bad behaviors here we go Surely that would just make it difficult for the, the being to exist in the first place, like like what we do to animals today. It's a, it's a miracle that an alien is even born, but when it is, my God, it's a nightmare. Uh, why'd I turn left? What a noob. What is that? Is that blood? Oh, man. This guy thought he was safe in here, and he got obliterated from above. Okay, we got an ID tag, which is good. The missing. Pick up maintenance jack. Oh, don't wake up. I think I need oh, this there were cockroaches under him. Great. So we're in a confiscation room. There must be weapons and stuff in here. Can I pick up these things? <laughs> Look at the legs. Kicking things. She's wearing... Looks like cons as well. <laughs> Look at the little legs. And let's play this thing. Hear his horrible story. Hello? Dead soldiers. I want to make a complaint. Zach Watson. To the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. 
lost their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking... Shit. It's so cold. I don't think this fucking thing even works. What I love about this game, and I guess the, the 70s future predicted by the film Alien, is look at that tape recorder. We're, we're in the future here, like far into the future, and they, imagine him carrying that around just to record little messages. For who? <laughs> uh, I love it. It's just creates such a, a beautiful world. It's very rich. Unfortunately, I don't think our world will continue that way. It's for, I reckon our world would go closer towards the world depicted in her. Um, which is a fantastic movie. Now I've got this tool so I can open all those crazy things. Hold L2 and R2, and then move it left. I'm going to need to learn all of these things. Awesome. All right. So she's got this little peak thing, which is cool. I don't think that she can use that pick as a weapon, though. I wonder if there's any fighting in this game at all. Great. So now we got to retrace my steps and open all these stupid doors. I still yet to come across a, a full-on human. What was that? Click compound B. <laughs> Take deck. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist. Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. So this is Waits, the guy in charge of the whole place. About your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's going to be accountable. I'm going to make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Okay, so they're making us feel like Waits is a douchebag. Um, and we'll see, maybe he is a douchebag been in there nothing in there okay why the sound why be spooky no I'm just gonna save quickly <laughs> scary games you save quite often because you don't want to relive any of this stuff even though it's not as scary when you play it through again it's just the way they are Did I go in here? I felt like I did. Reverse, it's Turner. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Okay, so that was maybe I was meant to hear that first, and then. Go in there and get the, the jack that he had. Um, I might just quickly just tr trudging over dead bodies. Let's go up here first and just I felt like there was a lot in these locked up areas. What's good is I haven't seen any like alien corridors when they kind of just put their all their goo and their exoskeletons on the walls. I don't know who makes that. I've never actually they they haven't ever shown an alien building that. 
um, the world that H.R. Geiger created. Um, all of the what the aliens look like and the the world and all the structures built by aliens is um, ethanol. It was created by H.R. Geiger, who's um, dead now, I believe. And um, he was a very creative man and very strange man. He would grab these things. My sister went to a exhibition of his, um, and uh, she reported back that it was a lot of like alien-like creatures um, having sex with ladies. And I was like, right, that makes sense. I think they cut that out of the uh, the alien universe. So I still don't have this thing, plasma torch. You gotta find that somewhere. She runs so slowly, like that's, she's not going to escape an alien at that speed. Over the corpses. Ooh, here we go, cutscene. Uh, bum bum. Stay still. Okay. Okay. Now, turn around. Come on! I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley? Off station. A ship. There's no ships! Here! There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Cystex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? Am I standing too close to you, Axel? Um, okay, so we've got a friend now, which can be a bit annoying. Come if you... on, I don't want to stick around here long. So in the last episode, I talked a little bit about, you know, what your favorite Alien film was. just want to quickly talk about Alien 3. Is that you following me back there? I had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. It was him. He was running around. Um, well. What is this room? Inquisitive type, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's hilarious. Uh, so... We're talking... What? Hey, don't move! Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. We're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jenna. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. 
Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator work. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Uh... What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running ship scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. Gotta find one of those power beacons to restore that area. So with Alien 3, so at the end of that, um, so Ripley's been battling aliens in Alien and then Aliens. And then Alien 3, she's finally impregnated by an alien. And then here we are, I'm just going to save the game. And then at the very end of the movie, as I said, there will be spoilers. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure you've seen it if you're watching this game. Uh, yep. At the end of the movie, she sacrifices herself to um, destroy the alien, which I think is probably Hold one up. of the best ways I to end a franchise, alien. where the hero, who has been so strong, um, such a powerful so woman in cinema up. history, um, she destroys herself to to defeat the alien. And if essentially at that point in the in the universe, Hit the button. At that point in the universe, we're aware that she's um. They might have a chat here. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. Okay, I'll whisper. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. I feel like we're going to see the alien very soon. Um... And so she sacrifices herself to destroy the alien, and then the movie ends. Um, and in a way, the, the whole franchise is about, you know, her survival against the alien. And then her motivations changed from, I guess, self-preservation to uh, hold L1. Shit, we need to move. This way. Get down. This is bullshit, man. We should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. So we're going to have to go through this little area here. Trouble. Oh, it's I'll have to go around them. Follow me. So her motivations change from self-preservation and making sure she survives and, and also killing the alien to protecting humanity from the alien. She becomes the savior of all humanity in a way because of what Weyland Yutani Friends of yours? Wants to do. I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. So for me, that was the best way to end a franchise I, I, I have ever seen. Sorry. We'll let Axel talk. Um, and I loved it, and it, it should have ended You've there. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. And although Alien 4 was fine, I, I didn't mind it. a week now, waiting for a ship, waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. There's no way he would give me stuff. Be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Uh, 
Um, this way. Yeah, one second, dude. So Alien 4 was fine, and, you know, most people, I guess, were annoyed by it, but I didn't mind it so much. It was, it was a bit closer to Aliens than, than the other movies. Um, but for me, Alien 3 was the perfect way to end a franchise. So how do you guys feel about Alien 3? Sorry, that was a quite a long story to get through because of Axel constantly inst interrupting us. Um, but I, I thought it was just fantastic. Um, and to have the hero of the story die to defeat the, the beast, to defeat the bad guy, was just pretty cool. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to win any awards for saving a low amount of times. Never understood those trophies. You didn't say very much. Well done. Here's a trophy. Um, uh, come on. So yeah, did you guys like Alien 3? I feel um, I've noticed with all the, the DVDs and stuff that have been released, there's like a lot what of now? like why I'll David Fincher, who was the director, was involved. There's another right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. Use your flashlight to find the vent entrance. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. Right. So, um... Oh man, this is... Not gonna be fun. This place gives me the willies. Gives me the willies too, Axel. So yeah, David Fincher um, on all the DVD media, um, I think because of his bad experience directing the film, I think uh, he was um, a, a lot of... Uh, Axel, is this it? I found Hold it. on. Yeah. I'm coming. One second, I haven't finished looking around. I think um, they interfered with the process quite a lot, which upset him and he didn't get to make the film he wanted to make. I've seen the director's cut that is available on the DVDs because they kind of make it an it apology to him. Uh, in a way from Fox and they kind of explain why he isn't on the, all the big DVDs where all the directors kind of have a chat about the film um, he's missing from it which I think is sad I think that's a mistake um, I, personally I think the Fox version is better than his version um, I know all the scenes aren't there and it isn't really coloured and made the right way um, Yeah, it's not smart to stay here too it? long. I've only got one bar on my battery that doesn't last long. Yeah, I liked it. And I'm sure I've said that is many times. the way everyone time. travels around here? But that's the way it is. Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. Alien 4, stupid, but I still enjoyed it. Prometheus, I really enjoyed. Uh, I know a lot of Torrance, people hated so that. That's that had your ship, problems. Huh? I'm looking forward to the sequel. Um, but Quiet. I really liked I hear something. it explaining where aliens come from. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. How are you holding up? You okay? Follow me. Love, look, it won't let me go that way because of these cases. <laughs> Use your little legs. Just climb over them. Oh, uh, Ripley. Can't walk up okay, steps. Okay, go be quiet here. Don't shine that flashlight. <laughs> Quietly. I am quiet. Jeez, Axel. Hold up. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Well, stick around while I check our stock. This is some bullshit. They aren't. Uh, Too many of them to take on. Take on? <laughs> we still got to get through there. The door at the end. How? Let's try a distraction. The generator. 
If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Great. Which one of you checked our supplies lot? Oh my god. I did. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What I've, the um, fuck is that supposed to mean? I'll let these hey, guys talk. He's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Damn it. What about the lock Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. Sealed tight. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? He's a goddamn store clerk. Yeah? Maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. Just saying that... Just stop saying. And help me check the rest of this stuff. That is, if you could keep your trap from running for five seconds. Such a tense game. Check it out. I've never Everyone actually felt in a game like you're always worried about, you know, there's guys with guns and they might be shooting you, so you got to sneak around. But when he said we're going to have to shoot um, anyone you don't recognize, I actually felt concerned. In a past life. Who's there? Come out. Doesn't seem to be broken. How would you know, Einstein? Where do if I the go? generator had blown, there'd be smoke. Nice work, well, Ridley. It's not nice working now. Maybe the safe. Follow me. Let's uh, keep it down. They're still close by. That was tough. Um, yeah, I really felt that. Man, there are a lot of safe points in this game. If this game was made in like 1990, there would be like one the whole game. Or none. You just have three lives. Thank God there's a lot of safe points. I wonder if they're removed if you play the harder levels. Where are we going, Axel? Come on, do you want me to go through here? Jeez. And How much further? Nearly there. All of a sudden, just up ahead. I'm not even thinking about the Let's aliens. Just hope your ship's still there. Sebastian, not quite what you're expecting, eh? I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. Okay, excellent. S, I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things always get lost when a station's closing down. Don't worry about customs either. Sinclair's told his men to turn a blind eye. They'd probably be too busy goofing off or taking backhanders to notice anyway. You get what you pay for, I guess. Uh, and two man rule. Nearson. Leonard, you're both first shift on the door, so read carefully. Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't read the instructions properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. Great. Me and Axel will have to use this. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure everything stays secure and none of us decide to head off on their own with our stuff. When you're on shift, take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be left in or out. Let in or out. That means just us, no one else. No matter how much anyone begs, no matter what sub story they try and pull, I was with a group before and we got soft and now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. And share inventory. Inventory. No one is to take anything or mark it off the list without talking to me first. Aspirin, canned food, cereals, water, toothpaste, cigarettes, toilet paper, industrial tape, med kits, powdered milk. Notes. Running low on ammunition. Zoe. Uh, managed to pick up some prescription drugs, all addressed to the same person. Guess they didn't need them anymore. Because they're dead. Alright, excellent. There we go. Restore power. It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. He's gonna get through and I'll be stuck. 
with those bad guys. Do you reckon? Ready. On three. One, two, three. Oh shit. Axel, behind you. Save Axel. Fuck you! Get here now! I've got the thieving son of a bitch! You bums think you can take what you want? Whoa. Axel, man. I don't Fuck. know. He could be a Let's good guy. Go. The others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastards! Move it! Shoot him! Shit! I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! That's tense, man. You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me! Oh, this you room. You saved my life! Oh. This is about survival! This is where aliens live. Do you understand? I hear something. Yeah, get out of this room, man. I hear something. Axel? What have I got on me? Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Uh, I, I keep moving. Yeah. Um, I feel like I should end the game there. As soon as I find a safe point, I will. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Come on, save, 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 save. Um, feel free to subscribe if you want to watch more of this stuff and continue on with the journey that we're on. Um, uh, aliens. Oh, you're kidding. No, no, no. What's this music for? No, no, no. I just want to save. Stop. This is the worst waiting for a lift I've ever experienced. Ah. Come on. Oh my god, nothing's even happening in this game. Ah, open. Yes, yes. Close the doors. Close the door. Where do I go? Oh, oh my god, what was that? Why is that scary? Nothing actually happened. Nothing actually happened. The alien has heightened senses. It will spot you quicker than humans or androids. Oh my god. Nothing actually happened then. It was just music and waiting for a lift. Working Joes are rudimentary androids, but it doesn't mean they're harmless. Great. <sighs> my heart is beating like crazy. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I will try and find a save point and save there. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys want to continue watching this, please subscribe. And please comment below and have a chat about the game. Tell me what you think. Um, if there's anything that I'm missing or you feel uh, I should be playing it slightly different, um, please please feel free. I, I am just exploring this uh, uh, as we go. Um, I'm sorry it's not as uh, stupid as my normal commentaries, but I am kind of... I think I may have shat my pants uh, during this. Um, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. Um, Station serving seeks and communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet Solutions. This feels like it's all on an angle. Is there anywhere to save? Oh man, there it is. Okay, we're just going to save here quickly. And then we'll pick it up next time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.